So, Laura, how are you doing? I'm getting strangely used to this existence, which I think is probably worrying in itself. Yeah. But I am really looking forward to being able to see my mum and friends, even though you keep telling me that you're perfectly happy in your own company. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's something I've learned, actually. I'm absolutely fine in my own space, sometimes out walking, sometimes <laughs> in reading, escaping into a movie. Although, to be honest, I think I've completed Netflix now. Um, but the reason I ask is I wanted to ask about gaming. Are you a gamer, Lara? Oh, I used to love Gran Turismo, but no more, RSI. Seriously, so you're saying you played so much Gran Turismo you hurt your thumbs, you? Hmm, I don't really want to talk any more about it because I don't want to point out any more negatives about gaming because actually during the pandemic, it's turned out there have been some real health benefits. Right, and that is my point. That's what Mark Chislak has been looking at this week. The idea that in these troubled times, gaming can actually be good for our mental health. Maybe, but in the meantime, I've got a bit of excitement for you. Mm. The kids are going back to school next week. Spencer, how are you feeling about it? I'm not saying a thing. I'm not saying a thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> Over the course of the past year, one of the benefits that we've seen is there has been a growth in virtual experiences, ways of being able to remotely visit museums or galleries. Oh, you may say that, but how about a dinosaur coming to your living room? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been testing an app that does just that with a little bit of help from none other than Sir David Attenborough. The newest production methods with some of the oldest stuff that we know about our planet, taking you on a trip to meet... And much the detail is incredible when you zoom in. Really okay, I've got to get around to see those teeth. Zoom in and the detail is just incredible. There's a tree growing out my carpet. It does only work on an iPhone 8 or above though, or a similarly aged iPad. There is no Android version. And at the moment, there are only a few creatures to look at, but more are being created, including a not so dead dodo. Oh, wow. Augmented reality is just coming on in leaps and bounds, isn't it? It reminded me of those 3D animals on Google, but wow, these images, especially close up, were quite something. Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna raise the bar and go past AR. Now, you've used Microsoft HoloLens, haven't you? Oh, I have. I had a bit of a career change and oversaw a build. And this week, it was Omar's turn to put on the HoloLens, meet its creator, and talk about the new ways that we could be working together in the future. Omar there and his new friend, the giant hermit crab. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, James Cameron talking about underwater stuff. Who'd have thought? Uh, anyway, we will hear more from James Cameron in the coming weeks because he's got more interesting stuff to say on other tech stuff too. But for now, that is it for this week. As ever, you can find the team on social media on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook or Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.